So today we have a 32 year old young man who is very good looking, but he still wants to get better. And that's a tough task. Now he's bothered by this car that he's had since he was a child. He doesn't even remember how he got it. As you can see, it is hypertrophic. It is a different color and it is wide. So the goal is to get it to be a fine line without violating the vermilion border or the nasal cell. So close to the nasal cell, we can do either an emplasty or we can go along the groove of the nasal cell and try to blend it that way. So as we draw, we will have a better idea and we will show you. Okay, so we have done the drawing and the marking, as you can see, in the shape of an ellipse. And fortunately, it went really well. As you can see, we are not close to the nasal cell. So we can easily avoid it and that would be perfect. This way we can get no deformity or distortion of the nasal cell or the lip. So this is going to be interesting and it's going to be beautiful. Okay, so we just finished. As you can see, I was able to achieve uh, extreme eversion and pulling all the way lateral, mostly on the lateral aspect, then the medial. We don't want to pull on the philtrum too much. And that took all the tension away from the skin closure. And it's seven or nylon, so it should be um, no railroad marks. And we'll see the patient in about five days and replace this with dermabond glue. Very good. We'll keep you posted.